Vice President Mike Pence took a moment to lambast Russia in a massively hypocritical rant. Our message to Russia is you're on the wrong side of history. It is time for Russia to get the message that President Trump delivered last night. That you're known by the company you keep. It, it was 2014 when then uh, Secretary of State John Kerry negotiated an agreement that that he would represent and that administration would represent eliminated 100% of the chemical weapons in Syria. And Russia agreed to be the guarantor of that agreement. And now we see the atrocities, the, uh, the, the, the horrific images emerging from the, the brutality of this monster in Damascus. And all the while, we understand that Russia has been standing by, aiding and abetting and supporting this brutal regime. And, and the time has come uh, for Russia to join the family of nations in condemning the Assad regime's use of chemical weapons and demanding that they live up to the commitments that they made in 2014 under the last administration. Uh, denying on the world stage, offering resolutions that were properly rejected at the UN Security Council a few hours ago is not a pathway toward a, a better relationship with the United States of America and the wider world for Russia. Uh, Russia and Iran are on the wrong side of history. Uh, and last night, uh, President Trump called on them, uh, called on them, as we call on every nation uh, across the world, to join us in condemning the use of chemical weapons uh, and, and again, restoring the kind of deterrent framework that will ensure, whether it be in Syria or anywhere else, that these type of weapons have the capacity to, to suffocate and murder innocent men, women, and children uh, are, are never used again in the world. So what you just witnessed there was sheer delusion. Everything he said is not only true of the United States, it's even more true of the United States than anybody else, than any other country. And see, this is what's so frustrating to me, because it used to be the case that when Republicans said overtly hawkish shit and, you know, wagged their finger at other countries and their human rights abuses, that people on the left and even elected Democrats would say, whoa, 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 hold your horses there, fella. Even Obama... Remember when Obama, in the debate against Mitt Romney, um, chastised him when Mitt Romney said, oh, the biggest threat is not Al-Qaeda, the biggest threat to us is Russia. And Obama famously said, it was a great line, the 1980s called, they want their foreign policy back. See, that, that's Obama, and that was the Democrats saying, hey, we're supposed to be for peace with other nations. And yes, we have disagreements with Russia, but nothing we can't work through. And obviously, they're not a bigger threat than fucking ISIS and Al-Qaeda. I mean, that's crazy if you take that position. Well, now, the Democrats are so, you know, mired in this uh, collusion idea with Russia. And oh my God, the Trump administration is Putin's puppet. That when the administration, and Mike Pence is doing this right here, the vice president chastises and lectures Russia and lambasts them and wags his finger at them. This is stuff now that the Democrats agree with. And if anything, they just think, they think he's not even being hard enough on Russia. And that's the problem is that now nobody's there to point out the obvious. And I'm going to do that right now. So first of all, he said to Russia, quote, you're on the wrong side of history. You're on the wrong side of history. Says the nation that is funding, arming, propping up Israel's permanent occupation and apartheid and uh, perpetual oppression of Palestinians. They're just, they're massacring journalists on video during the daytime. And the U.S. is like, hmm, new phone, who this? Something happened? I don't even know what you're talking about, man. Is Israel? I never heard of Israel. I don't know what you mean. Here, take billions more dollars. Talking about the wrong side of history. We are buddy-buddy with Saudi frickin' Arabia. They oppress their own population, and they're doing a genocide in Yemen right now. 
with weapons and money we've given them. They're massacring civilians left and right. They're, they're blockading the country and there's a cholera outbreak and people are dying of hunger. They're dying of starvation. And he's lecturing somebody about being on the wrong side of history. I mean, God damn it, man. He said, quote, you're known by the company you keep. Again, Israel, Saudi Arabia, case closed. Who the fuck are you to lecture? And by the way, as bad as Assad is, at least 60% of the rebels are jihadists. So what about the company you keep? You've propped up these rebels. Many of them are openly jihadist. So yeah, take your own goddamn advice. The company you keep. The fuck is wrong with you? He said he wants to be, Mike Pence said his model for vice president that he wants to be like is Dick Cheney. And then he has the nerve to say to somebody else, you're known by the company you keep. Damn right you're known by the fucking company you keep. Look in the goddamn mirror. And then he says that, um, you know, oh, in the last administration, they quote, eliminated 100% of the chemical weapons in Syria. Yeah, that's right. So maybe you should fucking pause before pressing the button to bomb before a goddamn investigation and then come to find out, as we just learned, they weren't bombing a chemical weapons facility. If they did bomb a chemi chemical weapons facility, nobody would be able to even be in the region the next day because there'd be fucking chemical, uh, chemicals that are poisonous in the atmosphere. They were there the next day. Why? Because it wasn't a chemical weapons facility. It was a fucking pharma facility. So, it, it's unbelievable. Yes, you're right. Stop and think. Oh, the last administration said they eliminated 100% of the chemical weapons and Russia was supposed to be the, the people who guaranteed that. Right, but they did do that. They did get rid of the weapons. And it was this bullshit run up to bombing. Uh, and we know that indeed, before there was any investigation, you did bomb, and now we know that they weren't chemical weapons. So this is just dripping with hypocrisy. This lecture is fucking unbearable. And then the worst part is he's talking about condemning the use of chemical weapons. We use chemical weapons. Israel uses chemical weapons. You ever heard of what happened in fucking Fallujah? We're selling illegal weapons right now to Saudi Arabia. The nerve of these guys. To lecture somebody else, it's unbelievable, man. And again, you want to talk about the wrong side of history, for fuck's sake, look at what happened in Iraq. The secular dictator was overthrown and ISIS rose out of the ruins. We overthrew Gaddafi, who admittedly was a monster, but now there's open-air slave markets in Libya. It's possible for these thing things to get worse, and oftentimes they do. And now, we're cheerleading for the same goddamn thing in Syria, and nobody's even pointing this stuff out. I mean, nobody. I mean, it's maddening to watch all this misinformation and propaganda on a daily basis be spewed out there. And nobody's saying, wow, you guys are full of shit. 